Yeah, what's up? Um, can you please, and I'll send you the money once I get it. Uh, would you mind stopping and getting a can of Coke for my 1012? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Crime Circus Cult. My name is Drip Drop, and this is my educational true crime YouTube channel. This is documentary style footage for the learning experience, and this is a four part series based on mental health awareness. And this is episode number two. You don't necessarily have to watch these videos in any order, but I am releasing them in the proper order. Anyways, I know a lot of you out there are struggling with mental health. I touched on that on episode one in this series. Mental health is no joke. And mental health led Natalie to hammer and scissor her own mother. Her own mother passed away from hammering and scissoring. This is no joke. If you're struggling with mental health, I'm here for you. If you need professional help, please seek professional help. If any of your friends or loved ones are suffering from mental health, try to stay strong for them and always be there for them. Always spread kindness, positivity, and cheer. I think it's important to always be kind to your fellow humans. This footage takes place shortly after Natalie arrives at the police station. Now let's see what Natalie has to say for herself. I don't have a card or singles on me. Uh, what type of soda do you drink? Uh, we don't have a Coke, and you have Pepsi. Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. Hmm? Can I get one? Pepsi, yeah, yeah. Pepsi. <laughs> so one for her, one for me. <laughs> All right, I don't sorry. think I can die. Do you want to sit down on the floor? No? Okay. And you sure you don't want to use the bathroom? Okay. No, no. What is wrong with me? I'm a monster. What's oh, ready? What's going on? What is happening? What do you mean? Do you know where you are? Do you know where you are? Do you know where I am now? Mm -hmm. Do you know where you are right now? Yeah. Where, honey? I'm by the police station. Okay. Why you keep looking at your hands? Because. Because. I did a one five five. That means she's not working. It says everything's sold out. Because I. I thought that I, 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 I thought I, 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 um, I, uh, I don't know why I, um, what's going on? So you are at the sheriff's office. Okay. Okay. Um, right now you're just sitting with me. Okay, we're going to sit here for a little bit. Um, certain people going to come and talk to you. I'm going to ask you some questions, Okay. But you're saying you're not well. I need to know what you mean by you're not well. Do you feel sick or? I am. Um, Do you need a fire department to come out and check on you? I'm, I'm not 
I, 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 I. Do you know what day it is? No? Okay. What's, okay. I don't know. Okay, you keep looking at your hands, honey. What's wrong with your hands? What's going on? Well, there was an incident, okay? So right now we're just sitting here, we're just waiting for people to come and ask you some questions, okay? And that right there, the, are you keep asking about the cuffs? No? Okay. That's just for my safety and your safety. That's just procedures we have. Okay? But you keep looking at your hands, honey. Is there something wrong with your hands? I just want to make sure you're physically okay. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with me? I, I don't know, sweetie. I'm, I keep asking you what's wrong with you. Uh, I, um, I, um, 42 and a half is back for Who's 42 and a half? Or 42 and a quarter, whatever. Oh, okay. So, get everything? I don't... Yeah, so I don't need a... <laughs> All right. Sorry, yeah, I just, I told sorry about this. Uh-huh. Apparently they knew about it. Um, but he said... Uh, we need somebody else, uh, more deputies over there. So, okay. I, I'm just trying to make sure she doesn't need medical, so. Okay. Right. I'll just keep up over the radio, but like, hey, so I need a medical, I need another unit. I don't oh. think uh, 151 and 167 will be able um. to sit there and babysit the house. This is kind of, um, takes priority. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, not it. I'm so sorry. I was just talking no, to him. Okay. It's okay. Um, uh, um, so sweetie, um, I cannot ask you any questions, okay? All I can, because you keep looking at your hands, I just want to make sure you don't need a medical help. That's all the questions I can ask you. Are you okay? As far as physically, physically, mentally, no. Okay, but what about physically? I'm fine. Okay, that unfortunately that's the only questions I can ask you. Okay. Okay. So right now we just gotta sit tight and wait for people to get here. Is there a music that you like that you wanna listen to? No. Okay. I don't know what's going on. What's wrong with me? What do you mean, what's wrong with you, honey? I've been in the bathroom before. Okay. Or I think. I feel when I do want to stop this. I feel like that everything I do, I don't know. What are you doing? F is also the 51 to 4834 Sunset Road. I did something. It's going to be referenced I don't know, sweetie. pain, however, for directions okay. from 2016. I advise to have deep breaths, mom. Deep breaths. Medical calls due to hostile occupants. I know if it's not the instrument. There you go. Hey, we're going to figure this out. Okay? Okay. I just unfortunately right now, you and I in this room... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I know you probably want to spend a day, but right now you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. You want to push your hair to the side because it's all in your face? There you go. I asked him, but unfortunately he had to leave really quick to an emergency, so we both stuck here thirsty. <laughs> Because I asked him, I'm like, can you get two sodas? Because mm -hmm. I got you one. Mm -hmm. So you mean, you see what I mean by you and I got both stuck? Yeah. Because I can't even go get it. I feel like and this I machine up here is sold out. I feel like my life is a lie. 
You said alive or lie? Alive. Hmm. How old are you? Know. I'm 32. Really? You don't look like you're 32. You look much younger. I would think that you're like in your 20s. You look very young. I don't go out a lot. Why not? I don't go out because I I don't like big crowds. Like too many people, I don't I don't do too good. It's like no, I need my personal space. <laughs> Thank you very much. I used to like going out. Yeah, what did you like to do? I like to dance. Dance, okay. Mm-hmm. What do you like to dance? Anything. Anything. Okay. Are you Spanish? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So you dance what? Merengue, bachata? I try. Salsa? I'll do it to anything. Like, yeah. Listen, I try watching you guys how you dance. It's like, <laughs> I'll try it. I don't know how it's going to look. I just do the two step. Yeah. But um, I went to, you know who's Romeo Santos? Yeah. I went to his concert. At Emway. Oh. oh, girl. Mm. That was a nice concert. Um, Ozuna. Oh, I like Ozuna. I went to his concert. It was really nice. It was different. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have like a bunch of females on the stage dancing and like even Romeo Santos, even his concert, it was nice too. It was just him singing, nice music. It was really nice. If I had my old phone, I'll show you some videos, but I don't. Um, who else? Who else? Oh, and um, Ozuna's concert, he brought a what's her name? Nari, 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 Tasha, Nari, Natasha. No, she's a pretty girl. Yeah, she has a song with uh, Carol G, pajamas, whatever it's called. Um, so he brought her out on the stage. Daddy Tash. Girl, that's gonna drive me crazy now. <laughs> Google your best friend. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um I, Girl, you're supposed to help me. I don't know, I don't remember. Daddy Tasha Daddy. Ozuna songs. With uh, Nari. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nari Natasha. Mm. You want to see? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, English. You've seen the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You watch videos? By the way, I don't speak Spanish, so whatever you they say. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish either, but I understand. I know that one criminal. I know that one. Her. Can you see or no? She's a really pretty girl. Yeah, she's pretty. You never heard this song? I have. I remember. Yeah, so she's the female in the song. The singing? Yeah. I no clue what they're saying. I was like, ooh, this is a nice beat. Yep. Corazon, I know that means love. Right? Yeah. Are you okay, honey? What's going on? What's your breathing? No, don't tell me nothing. I'm just a little scared. Okay, well, can I ask you what you're scared of? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I feel like I was kidnapped. 
and I feel that yeah I just feel that way kidnap well I, I didn't kidnap you <laughs> okay no, I can no, tell you I am no, a legit no, police no, officer no, <laughs> well no, a deputy um, and you are an our sheriff officer okay so you safe here yeah you 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 safe yes okay you with me nobody's gonna come in here and hurt you okay and I'm staying with you the whole time you're not gonna be left here alone so you safe if that's what you're scared of that's some I'm so no, 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 honey. You are safe. Okay, you safe. I'm scared of what's going on. Like I, I just feel like I've been trapped and I don't know. Okay. Well, just remember, I. The thing is, I can't ask you any questions. Okay. I wish I could tell you more, but I don't know. Okay. But I am here to make sure you're safe. Okay. 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 So, this is not a Halloween costume. Okay. I do the, the, oh, for a long time. That was somebody's gonna kidnap you? That you were kidnapped? Okay. Mm. That's a, that's definitely scary. Look at my hair. What's going on with your hair? I wouldn't do that to myself. What did you do to your hair? So I'm gonna ask you a question. Right here in your brow, what is that square? What square? Yep, right here. And on the other side. Right there, there's a box there. What is that box? What box? I'm gonna come up next to you, okay? I don't know what's going on. This right here, what is that? No. What is that, honey? No. No. Okay, I'm gonna reach in, okay? No. 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 I'm pulling your keys out, okay? Just breathe. Natalia, are you with me? Yeah? Where did you go, honey? Sweetie, I need you back with me. Okay? Yeah. Where do you go when you... Just somewhere else. Okay. I've always been somewhere else. Is it a nice place? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I just, no, no, nothing. Okay. Okay. You okay, honey? Listen, remember what I told you you say? I don't feel safe. Why? You, you're here with me. I just don't feel safe. You're here with me, honey. There's nobody coming in here. Okay? I don't know why I feel no, you're safe with me. Hey, Sarge, I just found the keys to the car on her. Keys to the car? That's Toyota, right? In the driveway? No, it's not there. Yeah, I, I just found the keys on her. Okay, I was inside her bra, so. The thing is. Okay, that's fine. Um, I know everybody's very ten six. Um, but whenever somebody can maybe stop by, and get a soda for the young lady, because I don't have absolutely anything here, and I don't know how she's on her medications either. I heard my mom, right? Mm. But it, it, Okay, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, 163. All right, let me get Tanner really quick because everything else that's on the screen is just phone messages. So let me get him really quick.
Yeah, but yeah, I got the keys to the car on me. Okay? Yeah. Alright, sir. No problem, bye. What soda you like? Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna call my friend to get a soda. Coke? Coke? Yeah. Okay, you want a Coca Cola. Can or bottle? If you can, because it tastes better. Okay, I don't know how long we're gonna be sitting here. So you sure you don't want a bottle? Mm -hmm. No. I think you can. I always really can. Hey, I need a um favor from you, and Sarge is twenty six on it, because you're the only one that's ten eight. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Um, can you please, and I'll send you the money once I get it. Uh, would you mind stopping and getting a can of Coke for my 1012? Yeah, for the, uh, the... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Natalie, do you want anything to eat? Maybe like a snack? Yeah, I haven't eaten for days. You haven't eaten in days? Okay, what would you like, honey? Because I thought that everything was poison. That's how I felt. And I take medication and I just get so... Uh, yeah. Um, asking her right now. What would you like, hon? <laughs> cheese sticks, goldfish. Yeah. Oh, she just heard you. Um, okay. If you don't mind, just getting the young lady um a can of coke, and you going by Wawa or anything like that or no? Because we don't have anything up here. Everything is sold out. Hello. Uh, everything at the SR was sold out. I'm not sure what they have downstairs. So. Are you at the SR? Yeah, I'm upstairs in the interview room. Do they have a soda machine? Yeah, upstairs. Downstairs, I know they do, but I don't know what's in it. Oh, okay. Um, are you the only one there? Yep. Where's uh, like all the complex? Huh? Yeah. And all the calls. Yeah, that's what it says. Sarge is 26. Um, the young lady didn't have anything to eat or drink in days. So if we can just get a, um, a Coke um, and maybe goldfish or something. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's get her a Coke. I've been asking for that. Yeah, if you don't mind. So, like I said, no. Sarge is 26 on it. Yes, sir. Um, would you mind grabbing me a bottle of Pepsi, please? I'll be here for a while. Okay. I'll see you when you get here. We're on the second floor. Thank you. I haven't been out in 10 years. You haven't been out in 10 years? Only to Walmart or wherever. My mom told me to go. Okay. So, my friend, he's also a, uh, an officer. He's um, he's going to go get us something to drink, okay? So, he's going to get you some goldfish and he's going to get you a Coke. Okay. Um, then once they come out here, then they can talk to you. What's going on? Like, I've been asking for help. I asked the police for help. I asked. Uh, a lot of people for help. Yesterday, I asked, um, like, um, in the gas station racetrack, but I, I can't, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere alone. Ever since I got out of the hospital. Mm hmm. So everywhere I would go, it would be monitored. My phone, my bank accounts, compromised. My emails, all my emails compromised. 
my laptop broken. My computer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean your laptop broken? More than one laptop. So I got paranoid because then my stuff started moving around. Almost does. It's been happening for a long time. That's why I always went to the hospital. You like computers? Mm. Yeah. Was, I, I've been in the house for 10 years. Just That's a long time, Natalie. Yeah. I just did whatever and is it because you don't like to go out or because no you're not allowed to go out because they would always bring me down like I would go get like frozen food and then when I would come back they would say why didn't you get hot food Make me feel really bad about myself all the time. Maybe because you like cold food. And then I would just say, I, I got food. Oh, I'll go out and get it. Always making me feel like there's something mm. wrong with me. So then I just I think I'm really sorry all the time. I and I tried to ask for help because it got worse. Like it, Every time I would end up in the hospital, it wasn't because it was because it was because it was because um I couldn't take it and I would get like the psychosis I guess I got diagnosed with where I would think my mother would be my brother's ex wife and that I was kidnapped. And oh, that's the Rebecca person? That's my brother's ex wife, Rebecca, and that's what I thought to do. Who's your brother? Rebecca Gonzalez. He lives gotcha. in, and he does it a lot. And I never spoke up because I was afraid. And I was trying because it got so bad that I got paranoid that I was poisoned, so I didn't eat. And then my mom did try to kill me. By overdosing me on medication. So you mentioned something you did something to your hair. What happened to your hair? I don't know because I don't remember because I was taking medication and I would just sleep all day. What do you think happened to your hair? Because you kept turning your head to the side to show me something. What you were trying to show me, huh? Do you want to know how I feel? Of, I feel yep. like when I was on the medication, my mom did it to my hair. And then when I would try to get it, I didn't notice because I was so depressed that I was put down so much by my family that um, I just wanted to sleep. And then... I never wanted to die, and I was never, like, homicidal or anything like that to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. I was out of fear of someone hurting me. And, um... I tried to ask for help, but nobody believed me because I was diagnosed paranoid schizophrenia every time I went to the hospital. So they knew that, so they used it against me, so my brother... Hit me one time and threw soda on my face. Mm -hmm. Just because I defended myself because he called me a fat ass, degrading me. I was so depressed I couldn't get a job. And I said, I was like, you're not, you're not skinny and you don't make enough money and you don't have me. No, so you know how to talk back. <laughs> okay. And, well, I would suffer the consequences. <laughs> Hey, but you spoke back, right? But then I stopped. And then I just became sorry. And then I, I didn't know who I was. And then 
when I went in the hospital again, I thought I died. I didn't want to be there. The only reason why I always go to the hospital is because I say I'm the threat to tell the truth. Because my mom, she would, she would, no. Oh. Gave me her pain medication since I was 19 years old to control me. So I got hooked. How long you been like this, diagnosed with it? I get diagnosed by bipolar, ADHD. How long ago? I don't remember. Really? I know, like recently, I just remember waking up. My brother triggered it because he blamed me. He said I was a bad sister, and I'm not a bad sister. Well, who, which brother, Roberto? My little brother. Oh, you have another brother. How? And my girl. Dad. How many siblings do you have? I have my little brother. My okay. Thomas, my older brother, Robert. My dad. And my mom. Where's your dad? Pucho, well, Roberto, and no, um, I didn't know that they were all doing it to the point where I didn't have no one. So, who you live with? I live with my older brother and my mom, and when they're together, it gets so bad that I don't want to die. Okay, so your older brother lives there? With my niece, and recently I told my niece that I fear for my life. Because okay. I felt poisoned, Anyone? and because my mom told me to take it, Seroquel with Suprexa, and that's like, um, if you take those together, you could right die. I always felt like I was dying, like, by poison, because I would get rashes, or just sleep. And she really wanted me on the medication again, where I would just sleep. And then my hair got like this. And I don't know. So you keep saying your hair got like this, like what, honey? No, you can leave it. I'll show you. Just don't want you to hurt you. No, babe, it's okay, hon. Come on, Natalie, come back to me. You're slipping away again, honey. Sorry. It's okay. Stay with me. Stay with me. Go ahead, put your hair back up. Yeah, come on, girl. Come on. Go like this. Look, look, look. Yep, there you, there you go. Yep, I just put your hair in the thing. I don't think I could do it. Well, it's staying. You want to put your hair like that behind your ear? Let me see that face. There you go. How long is your hair? How's long? I'm trying to grow hair. It's not happening. This is this is what I got. Mm. That's it. This little I'm, thing. I started, like, feeling myself. Mm -hmm. Like, because when I got into the hospital... They all told me that, like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel real, like, um, I feel like I didn't belong, and every time I go is because I threaten, like, oh, I want to be free, or I want to just live my life, and... Have we met before? Would you remember if we met before? I haven't been to your house before. I don't know, maybe. Would you be able to remember me? No. Because I'm trying to remember if I met you before. Mm. Okay. Do you remember a lot of things or no? Mm. Where's your dad at? My dad? He moved to St. Cloud. 
How long ago? Oh, sweetie, you got an off your blood circulation. Just put your arm, um, little... No, it's put the... What do you call it? Oh. Yeah, just... Sorry, I didn't know. No, are you okay, baby? Because oh. I'm like, I know those cuffs are not tough. Mm -hmm. Why is no. her fingers turned in red? I was like, oh. They were. <laughs> Um, How long ago did that move? Was, um, like, I don't, I don't remember. Okay. That's the thing, I don't remember things. And then I stopped the circle. I don't even know if it was circle. What is that for? It's for the bipolar, schizophrenia, or... I was taking my long circle, and then I got paranoid because I felt funny. Like so I you had a dying. reaction to it? And then I told the doctor, I, I did a virtual visit. Every time it's like a virtual visit, it's not really the person. You see, he, here's my thing. How these doctors can do virtual visits? Like, aren't you a doctor? I don't know, am I supposed to be like the way you and I are sitting right now? I always wanted like to know why is everything like virtual? Isn't yeah. it nicer to actually physically sit with a person, right? Like, I don't want to talk to a screen. I want to be next to somebody. And especially if I talk mm. about my feelings, yeah. I don't want to talk to a screen. If that's the case, I'll look at my TV. So, hey, mm. and choose like an actress or an actor that I like. Oh, I'll put up all Zuna videos like, hey, so let, let me tell you what happened today. <laughs> like, no, you don't have that. I don't say relationship, but it's like weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I thought it was strange that everything was virtual. Um, I'm so sorry. I can tell you that with COVID. Yeah. Like everything is online now. Yeah. Like people that are getting sick, they don't want them to come to the office. The doctor will call you on your phone. What? Yeah, don't come to the office. Well, how you know how sick am I? You can't zoom X-ray over the phone. Yeah. You know, like that's why I you ch can't check my blood over the phone. So how you know what's wrong? Huh? So I, I hear what you're saying. I remember like I got a rush really bad. I was feeling really sick. So I did the doctor's visit with myself. Mm -hmm. And um, she was like, "Oh, it sounds like you have diabetes. You should go to the hospital." What? Yeah, and I was like, okay. Oh, and I lost my voice too. And um, why did you lose your voice? She said it was viral. Well, I was like, okay. And then uh, I told my mom, and then uh, you know, when I start like being myself or when I get a job or you know, be independent. Oh, so you won that. Like be free, I felt, and then she would like come down all the time in subtle ways. Like mm. my birthday, she said that I deserve nothing, and I said it was a joke. And I said, "Mom, what do you want out of life for me?" And she would say, "A good retirement fund." I was like, "You don't want me to be happy." And then when I was starting to be like happy, just because uh, my stuff was always moving, or I would wake up and the alarm would come on randomly, or someone would just open my door and then my keys would all go missing. Like if I wanted to sleep upstairs, my mom wanted me to sleep next to her all the time. And I didn't sleep next to her because I wanted to sleep next to her because I felt bad for her. Mm -hmm. She would always make me feel like I'm um, guilty. And um, my dad was kind of like, like threatened to kill uh, us mm -hmm. when we were sleeping. So um, I always had that thing. So I always thought of my mom, like to protect her. Mm -hmm. So I always thought like I had to make her happy and do whatever she said and I did. And then my brother, me down, saying that I'm a disappointment to the family and I'm delusional. And Which brother was that? Nicholas. 
And it was all like in a row. Cause then my brother's ex-wife, Rebecca, was also put me down and calling me fat, lonely forever, catfish, stuff like that. And then uh, it would be my other brother's girlfriend too, Crystal. Mm -hmm. She would call me fat ass, but that was only because I was defending my mom. And I noticed my mom really cared about what they said about her and not what they said about me. So then I was like, well, I want to live my life. And then I started like dancing and singing again, like I used to. And they were looking at me like I was crazy. And I did it in the shit, trying to get help from everybody. And then I got the thing where I, I had in the past, I don't know how long ago, because I've been in the hospital four times, where I thought my mom was Becca, which is my brother's ex-girlfriend, because he always said that she did evil things, like, you know, brainwash. And, and that is... Like Roberts, yeah. ex-wife. Oh, okay. So then I, um, every time I would get like a really bad, um, I know it was gaslighting because I looked it up. Because I don't put my stuff other places. It was too much. Mm -hmm. Or I had to carry my stuff around just to keep it with me. And um, then. Uh, I don't remember everything because I was taking medication that I would just sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And then my mom, like, like woke me up like, because I was, like, unconscious. Like, and at first I liked the feeling because I didn't want to feel. And I had suicidal ideation. A what? Suicidal ideation where I didn't want to kill myself, but I was, like, what was the point of life? What was this? I don't remember it. Because I don't even remember. Okay. I just remember my birthday. When was your birthday? Girl, happy delayed birthday. What did you do for your birthday? Stay with me, mama. Stay with me. You're doing great. Oh, my birthday... I was alone and I was, it was just back and forth, just telling my mom to really just stop, stop, you know, let me sleep. Because ever since I got out of the hospital, I felt like they wanted to put me back there. And then I caught my mom looking at me funny with my niece, like I was crazy. And then I caught on that it was my mom the whole time. So, I guess that's why I go into that, I don't know, they call it psychosis, because I, I never told anybody this. Or I thought my mom was back there. And I thought that. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Just give me one second, okay? No longer muted. I, I thought that if today, like I, I have in the past, that was maybe four years ago, too. That I thought that um, that um, I was saving my brother and my niece and myself, that my mom was back up. Because they kept saying that she was bad because I, I got so bad because I felt bad for my niece because I, I don't like to say it, but I, I, I embraced her. And I would do her hair and take her places. She was always with me. But... Your niece? How old is she? Okay. She stays at your house a lot? She stays with us. Where's her mom? Her mom's in Miami. That's what they said all the time. Mm, okay. So... Then I had this feeling that my mom was Pekka. 
again, that I thought that the only, only way out for freedom is if I killed her. And I thought it four years ago I had one, but my family covered it up. But I felt like they covered it up because it was me always sending me a time to just to leave because of, yeah. it got so bad that we were my stuff and uh, they would do like things you and you want probably to don't believe me, but like the well, threats would be like my mom would replay a movie and it would say escape again and I'll kill you. And then... What movie was that, huh? Movie was, she would just find movies and just replay it over and over and over again while I was sleeping and I would wake up with nightmares and fear of my life all the time. And then every time I would wake up for my nightmare, the T would be the same because every time I get a like a psychosis where I'm losing my reality, I always think the TV is speaking to me, telling me a sign or something. And I told her that. And then when I woke up a nightmare like a couple, I don't even know if it was a couple weeks ago because I was on Seracle, totally out of it. Um, I woke up and it was the same. Like he was waking up from a dream too. And I got creeped out and I was like, what's going on? I almost lost it. I, I almost lost it more than once that I fear the hospital because every time I go there, I get worse. They diagnose me with something I don't have, or I don't even know if I have it. I get treated, I got thrown into like a isolation. It was all because I just wanted to escape. I always wanted to escape. Every time I get into like a losing my mind, it's like to escape and run. And then I think my mom is back up. And there was one instance that they covered up. What do you mean? I did hurt my mom. I stabbed her, thinking that my voices in my head, which that happens when I get like, oh. I don't like to play the victim, but it's honest truth. I'm not gonna lie. Emotional abuse by calling uglier, passive aggressively saying, like if I had a job, I would say like. Oh, anybody can get that job, or, you know, like, say things like in front of me to make me feel low all the time. And I always wonder why I felt low with that. Uh, so, what do you mean there was an incident where they covered up? It was four, I don't think, four years ago. I stabbed my mom thinking she was back out again, saving my brother and myself. And, and every time I went, I was like, oh, fear my life. But I remember that my brother and my mother looked at each other and they were like, you know, looking at me and then they would turn off and on the lights. And then they were like, I don't know, I felt, I felt, because I didn't feel right, that my crew. Madam, hold on. This better be our sodas. <laughs> that better be our soda. Look at that. Oh, it's next to my car. <laughs> there we go. Look what we got. This is my friend, Hi. Deputy Tan. <gasps> Girl, look at this. Here you go. You want, uh, do you want... Uh, I have gummies and I have a cheese stick. Is that something? That's fine. Okay. I'll take you anything. She'll take anything. Okay, right Thank you. I haven't eaten because I felt like I was poisoned. Well, you with me. Uh, so you could check my blood. I feel it and my mom tried to kill me because she tried to make me take a little dose. Do you need help opening your soda? Oh, girl. Oh. I know soda's not good for you, but it's so good. That's why it's my go-to every time I go. But I always go because, I don't know, I guess, but I don't know my, I, my subconscious tells me something. But do um, me a favor, honey, since you didn't have something to eat or drink, can you drink some soda to make sure your sugar doesn't go down? Yeah. Okay? I don't need you to get sick on me physically. Yeah.
Okay. Okay. Um, and take your time drinking it too. So. But that's a scary incident, the one that you talked about four years ago. And I felt like I was drugged because my food tasted funny and I just ate it anyway. And they just sat me in a chair and I don't remember what was going on. All I remember was asking me to go to the hospital mm -hmm. and my mom didn't bring me. And then it was so weird because I left my brother's place. I don't even know what I was saying so I was so out of it. The reason why I was so out of it is because I was always complaining that I couldn't live at home no more because they would do things to me that were like if I didn't do something they wanted. There was always something that uh, I had to do for them, like take care of my niece, which I love because I, I didn't mind at the time. My mom would say, you're like her mom. And then I felt bad because she said she had a bad mom. Mm. And then her hair would come cut unevenly, and that drove me crazy because I love her so much that I ended up getting an incident because of that. And I felt like now that I was not, not her mother, I felt like it was my mom who cut her hair unevenly. Because and that was four years ago? Yeah, but I realized it recently. Hmm. So, the incident four years ago, how did they cover it up? I crashed because I thought that I was ending, like, me being kidnapped. And I thought she was better, so I, I took my brother's car and crashed. I almost died. You crashed your brother's car? Yeah, and then, and then I wondered why, you know... I was like that because I didn't feel, it just felt like, I don't know. So, Natalie, where's this Rebecca person? Rebecca is, um, she's my brother's ex-wife. Do you know where she's at? They say that she was in Miami. And that's your niece's mom? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Bad things about her. They always say bad things about her, like, She's a narcissist, she's evil, she does evil things, she cut her hair, look what she did. But then, like, when I... She cut her hair? Unevenly, like, bad. And it would be bad, but it wasn't her, I feel. I felt like it was... So, Rebecca, we're talking about Rebecca. She cut her hair. And they would always say that she would strain it, ruin it. She would strain it, but I don't know, I didn't feel like the cutting. It was, like, really, really bad, like... Up, down. There's pictures on my computer. I don't know if it works so though. Well. Mm. So my audio was just my Wait, you have phone. pictures of Rebecca? Oh, stop. Oh, I think I had to feel. <laughs> well, we appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah. I know it's mm. crazy out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We appreciate it, right? Mm -hmm. Look, we got a cheese stick. Mm -hmm. We got some fruit snacks. You want to move that, move that table closer to you? I'm glad you have to keep stretching. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep because she was always my delusion. And my, and with her. How did the Rebecca? How did Rebecca look? How did she look? Mm -hmm. Scary, little, little. I mean, well, they didn't talk really bad about her, but... No, so what I'm saying is, how does she look? Was she... Is she dark? Is she light-skinned? She's dark. Is she Spanish? She's Spanish. She's tall. She has shaved head now, I guess. They show me a picture. Because I always say, show me a picture. So I won't get back to that place to get my mom is Becca. So you always confuse your mom with Becca. Becca is Rebecca. Because they would always say she's evil and... She does evil things. And so why would you compare her to your mom? Hey, look at me. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. How about this? Eat your cheese sticks, girlfriend. That's a good cheese stick right there. Yeah, I'll call like 
just to cope with the fact that um, she did to me and she would do it to my brother and I just finally realized that she did it to my niece. Like, told her that I was crazy and I said, I didn't want to know details, I just asked, is Mima say negative things about me? Does my brother say negative things about me? And she's well, like, yeah. Because I felt scared that I didn't have no one to talk to. So I said, if something happens to me, because I felt that way, mm -hmm. because um, it was bad. Like, I couldn't sleep at all. I was always waking up with a nightmare all the time, scared for my life. And they were always up mm. and saying, what's going on, you know? And then hello. my coping was medication, so I would ask for medication, my mom would give it to me. But it was a lot, it was, and me, and I don't even know what she gave, because I started getting paranoid, and then I kept them, and I flushed them. Um, oh. And I started not taking them, because I felt that it wasn't me. Okay. So have you met Rebecca before? For a long time. For a long time. So, how, when you met her, how did you feel about her? She was not right because there was an incident where she was like the same thing that my mom does. They're over there. They're right there, but they're not there. You know, mm -hmm. like it's that type of stuff that makes you go like, "What are you talking about?" Now when I would start catching on, she would like, I know it sounds crazy, but like that me with my life, I said, am I going to have a rough day today? Yes, you are. Or a rough night? Yes, you are. And I would be like, what? And then I would get paranoid because she would threaten me like, going to kill a fly, like while I'm telling her like I'm having a moment where I feel like um, someone's threatening you with my life. And then um, she did because... She told me to take medication that my doctor didn't say to take like that. And if you take it together, and I don't even know the medication I was taking, because she was giving me hers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I was taking. So I stopped because I wasn't feeling right. I was feeling sick. And I would say, can you bring me to the hospital? No, but then I went inside because I finally wanted to speak up and ended and I said, my mom's emotionally abusing and gaslighting me and she's going to come in here and try to admit me. And then um, when I did this, she was behind me. And then I got scared and went to the car and then she got really mad because she said, you're going to get admitted. And that was my fear because I hate being there at the hospital. You're getting admitted. You're going to get admitted. So then my brother would be like, you got to get admitted. My dad would be like, you're not right in the head. You're not right. Every time I would tell him, Dad, please help me. Okay. So why don't you eat some of that cheese sticks, babe? Just to get your sugar in, just to get some energy in you. I asked the police, but my mom talked to them alone. So whatever she said, you don't go in. I kept saying, I'm not a threat to myself or others. I'm not a threat to myself or others. I just didn't want to speak up and say, I'm very threat to me, you know? Sanity wise, I, mean, I don't even know, cause I felt like I was dying, like, and um, I, I just went along with it all the time and just never spoke up, stayed quiet, so I looked like I was paranoid schizophrenic, and then I lost my license for the first incident, but I never oh, said I I don't even know. know, like every time I went into oh. the hospital. The description, it would say arguing with family, but I wasn't arguing. I was just saying stop. It was like, I was catching on, like, who's saying this? That gets me admitted every time. Because every time I get admitted, like, the first time I was a, a threat to myself or others because I did the way I did, but they didn't, I still went in. I don't know. Oh, when were you threat? To, to others. When I stabbed my mom in the leg, because there was a voice telling me that if you did that, it would end. She's Becca. 
that I would be free and then so my brother and so me. Did you hurt your mom? I stabbed her but they covered it up and then my mom I was going through I was scared she scares me so I Did your mom go to the hospital? Why not? How bad did you stab her? I, I, it wasn't even a uh, uh, thick knife. Oh, so it was a knife? Where did you mm -hmm. get a knife from? I just picked whatever. It was one of those, like, I remember it. And I was really scared for my life. What were, what were you guys, were you inside the house? 2013, old house. Oh, okay. And they would always use that against me, like, we covered for you, you could have went to jail. But I feel like they cover for themselves. I feel like they all want me dead because I remember my brother going like this. And I didn't want to hallucinate, you know, behind. Where did you guys used to live? 2013. What's and the name of the street? I would say, you want to kill yourself anyways. What's the address you said, 20? 20... 2013 Circus Bay Boulevard. I don't even know. Is that in Kissimmee? Yeah, and then my license got taken away. And it was every time I went to be my independence by a car. And my mom knew that. And, uh, I'm sorry, honey, what was the address? 2013 Cypress Bay Boulevard. And um, my mom. Oh, so you guys went to Kissimmee jurisdiction. I knew that I wanted to get a car, but she would always say, she had a car, but it was always like a lost uh, title. So I was like, she didn't want me to go anywhere. Because every time I tried to gain an independence, she would do something that would end up in the hospital. So I stopped crying. How long have you guys been living at this new address? I don't remember. A long time? I don't remember. Okay. And then my, on my birthday, a therapist, because my mom was recording me. I don't know why she would record me. I was just singing and dancing just to I'll be my, just to save myself so I won't get into the bad place where I get, like, a fear in my life or overwhelming feeling, like I'm dying. Like someone trying to kill me. Um, and um, she just recorded me. And I was like, why are you recording? So I got paranoid. And then I took her phone and then we were like scruffling a little bit. And then she's like, you're going to jail. She would always drive me to jail in the hospital all the time. Mm. So I just did whatever she said, the better fear, not want to go there. Natalie, honey, eat your um, cheese stick or gummy bears or whatever the thing is. Fruit snacks. Please. I haven't had an opposite for a while. I know, honey, but I need you to have energy. I need you to stay awake with me. Okay, so please, for me, just eat some cheese stick. At least, you know, at least something to get in your system. And I see you had like a tiny sip of Coke. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> um, so, it's just happened constantly since I've been out of the hospital. And I feel like it's just out of the fear of losing Elena, my niece. Because they know that what they did, you know, what they do is wrong. And they always say, I never did that. That never happened. And then I, I would believe it, and then when I started catching on, like, my mom yeah, said, like, uh, there. there's spaghetti on the counter, and I was like, mm. spaghetti. I used to say, go along with it. Mm. Or you ate mac and cheese this year, remember? And then I would be like, no, I didn't. And when I started doing that, it would get worse. Or that I felt like only comfortable sleeping outside. Mm. And I haven't been able to sleep, so... And then I told everybody to help me, but they, they all were like, park police or 
and I don't want to go because of my experience last time. What happened in Park Place? I didn't go to Park Place, it was last year we were <clears throat> How did that go? Well, in the middle of the night, there would be, there would be, um, a lady screaming at the top of her lungs, like when I was sleeping, woke me up. And then I got woken up for snoring. And, um, what do you sleep in the house? I sleep with my mom. Oh, okay. And I it's not, I, I try to sleep ever since in the hospital upstairs, but then my all my keys were missing, and then I couldn't go in, and I, I got frustrated because then my door was locked. And then um, all my emails, when I went prior, I don't even know. Um, I got really frustrated because every time I was getting an email, I get locked out. And then I found out that my being kind of locked out, compromised because someone used my social security and it was a woman. So my mom blamed it on my brother's girlfriend, but it was actually my mother. The How did you came, find out? Because I went to the bank and then I couldn't find my social security birth certificate because she hid it, the birth certificate. I know because it was a thing and there's every time I want to gain my independence. So she went in my bank. I give her money anyway. I give her all my money. I don't know why she what? did it. But you don't work. So where you get your money from? I get, I used to work. Okay. What did you used to do? Stylist. Really? Where at? Nordstrom. Where? Nordstrom. Where's that at? Um, it's in Seattle. Seattle, Washington? Girl, we in Florida. That's like on two different sides of the country. I did virtual styling. I liked it a lot. Oh, hold on. Virtual styling? Yeah. Okay, you got to break this. Will you... I'm old. Um, Virtual styling? I would pick out clothes for people, and then they would send, ship it to them. they pick whatever they like, and then they send back whatever they don't, and they would charge. It was fun. So, so I just understand mm -hmm. this. You shop for people mm -hmm. for clothes. You send the clothes to them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. That is crazy. How long have you been doing that? So I only did it for like a couple because um, things got bad at home where like I wanted my independence of the car. But every time I have a car, it would be half my mom's, half mine. Not really mine, under her name. So, um, but I didn't have a license because someone reached out to the DMV to take it way because of my condition anybody could do it and I confirmed my mom and I said did you do it and then I knew that she did it because I could see it in her eye and um I didn't work I always work short mm -hmm. jobs because of the stress at home there's always something going on like there's always something going on it's all negative if you had a choice what would be your dream job my mom knew this, like, she was a registered nurse, so everything that she said, like, about, it was like, she knew everything about, like, condition. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to do a psychiatric um, nurse practitioner. That's what you wanted to be? Yeah. Why? Maybe because I felt like there was always something wrong with me, so I wanted to help people like me. You know, that's why I go out to a lot of places yeah. because I went through something in my life and I feel by going to these type of calls I can help out somebody because of what I went through so I see why you're saying that I can, I can see that mm -hmm. I'm the same way I want to help you know because I always like to do something like that that's a lot of school girl start talking about studying are you talking about like on the doctor level or are you talking about just the as a counselor? Level, like um, because then I, I liked it because I went to one. Mm -hmm. 
So I like that in my experience, what they did, you know, it's like... So you got a good one then. If you liked it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you got yeah. a good one. Yeah. There's yeah. some out there that they will just sit there and not interact with you. You see them with the little glasses mm -hmm. and they're like... It's a blessing. Like this. Uh, with a pen and a paper. Like, okay, have a seat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's it? Okay. Okay. It's like... Uh -huh. We didn't talk. Yeah, it's. But so you got a good one then. Yeah. If you were able to sit there and My talk. Mm. Is a good doctor. She knew me since I was 19. Yeah. I never really said my feelings. I was always optimistic. But I lost myself a long time ago. I tried to get myself back. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, they did. When my mom threatened me to kill me. What was that? Yesterday. Yesterday? Do you have a phone? They took everything away. Because I found out that they could see my every message, email, and they were the ones that locked me out of all my emails. So I wouldn't be able to do anything at all. And then my computers would break. And then my Kindle was slow. And it would randomly show up things, so I would be freaked out. Anybody would. If it would randomly show up a website or a Gmail, especially my Nacon 2023, I had that for years. And um, I had important stuff on there. And I begged them, because I know it was them already. Because my password was brand new on estimation where I told everybody while I was sick. I left all my passwords and uh, my computer and my brother and mother were using it and I let them. And they asked me and I didn't know. I was just in bed, like, not living. Just didn't want to. How do often do you take medication? All the time. All the time? Is it twice a day, once a day? I don't even remember. <clears throat> I was just giving them to me when I asked. And then what was I the last time you took them? Because I felt like I couldn't cope with them. Well, I didn't. I started flushing them. How long ago? Two days ago. Right. Yeah, two days ago. Just wait for dinner again. Mm. So. Mm. Cousin 43. What's that? Mm. Um, so, this is my friend. Hi. Okay. I talked to you over there. Um. Yes, he got his, has a gun. Because I told, remember what I told you? you safe here. Okay. Okay. So, he's my friend. He. And I'm staying right here with you. Okay? So, just go ahead, finish your cheese stick, drink some more soda for me. Okay? Okay. 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 The um keys to the vehicle mm -hmm. that's in the driveway. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, when mm -hmm. you're ready, I got some 43 for you. We got hold everyone. So. Then reference to the 12. Okay. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, we're just conversating. You want to step up for a second? You be okay. Yeah, you still want to talk with me? Okay. Just give us one second, all right? I am right outside the door. Yeah, right Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Just drink some soda. I am right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. No longer muted. No, no. I'm right here with you. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. No. You broke it. I'm right here, honey. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yep. It's okay. Here, baby. Did you drink some soda? Yeah, I'm going to drink some soda. Yeah, drink some soda for me, okay? Um, I'm not leaving. I'm right here with you. Uh, I'm not sure... Um, what's going on? Really? Okay. Um, I know that, um, 
today I thought that my mom, well, I, I left notes to people. What, well, did you leave the notes? Yes. Uh, Wait, hold on. That's one thing at a time, sweetie. Drink some soda for me, okay? So drink some. There you go. You want to put the cap back on so we don't spill any? Hmm. What are you talking about notes? You got it? <gasps> Thank you. I I can't. I have too much stuff happening over here. <laughs> notes? Why would you leave notes? I'm scared of my life. Okay. Because I was dying to be killed. Okay. Because I spoke up. Where did you leave the notes at? I got to my racetrack last night. Racetrack? Mm -hmm. Which racetrack? I left him at the racetrack near our house near the Walmart and took pictures, Polaroids of them too. And gave them to two of my but she knew me before because I said my mother, she was always like everywhere. I had to go with her. She only let me go when I was like under her control. But what time did you go to racetrack? I don't know because I didn't know. Was that yesterday or today? Last night. Last night? Okay. Because I had to beg because I, knew I wanted to go out. Just Wait, so racetrack, is that the one over the turnpike on, like, when you go going towards the loop is on your left side? That's like, right over the... Walmart. Across the street from Walmart. Okay. Did you give it to somebody? Who? People. Like, random people? Yeah. Okay, do they work there? Are the employees there? Okay, so you just give them a piece of paper? And I said I wasn't a threat to myself or this, and if something happened to me, it wasn't because I killed myself or I, you know, was a threat to me. Okay. Unless I was trying to fight for my life. And that was yesterday? Last night. So one of them was a lady you gave the note to? Who was the other person? Just um, the attendant that took the And I also wanted to eat food that wasn't prepared mm -hmm. because I felt like I was being poisoned. Okay. Did you eat something yesterday? I couldn't eat. And I couldn't sleep there no one knew what I knew. And then I started getting the paranoia and getting on the walls. When you went to racetrack, what is it still light outside? What is it dark outside? It was dark. It was dark? It was nighttime. Okay. Your mom didn't ask you where you went? She was there with me. She told me, she, since I got out of the hospital last, she wouldn't let me go anywhere at all. Did your mom see you give the notes to those people? I told her. You told her? Because I, I said, if you threaten me, I told you if you threaten me again, I'm going to tell people. Because I fear for my life, and now I'm going to be able to sleep again at night. Um, I feel like you're gonna kill me. So you keep saying that that people make threats to kill you. My phone, my medication. She would be like, "Take it in front of me," and I said, "I'm not taking that in front of you because if I take that with that, I think something will happen to me because of Sarah Cohen." Oh, so you know, girl, you sound like a doctor already. Cause you could throw in these names out. I'm like, a what? For what? <laughs> I, I um, I've been taking them for a long time, but I felt like they called it in my judgment, especially the cervical. What do you mean by the cloud of your judgment? I would just sleep, and then I wouldn't notice like what day it was or what time. And then I just didn't have a phone, so I didn't even know. And then I would always have to call on the mom. I would always put it on speaker. I couldn't speak alone with anybody without it being on speaker. 
And so I go along, and she would be like, no. And so I use your phone, and she would make me wait. And then she started me up with holding the medication too. And I just didn't even want it anymore. Cause I don't know what she was giving me. Cause I felt funny. I just flushed them down the toilet. How many pills do you take? It wasn't a lot. It was four. Well, she said they were prepared along. Clonopin, Andy, Sarah, Quill. And then I would just be sleeping the whole day until like 2, 3. And I'd still be tired. I took a lot of medication. So what do you do on like after you wake up on your regular day? I couldn't do anything because I didn't have a box off. So I would just go to Walmart and I would do things for like steel. Oh. Yeah. And, um, um, just more and the dishes. I didn't, I stopped taking a shower and brushing my teeth. I stopped caring for myself. How long ago was that? It's been a long time. And then I started trying to psych myself out by it. Um, because I was put down and I wanted to leave. And I was trying to get the parents just to go and every time I would go, I would come back and the door would be locked and it would get worse and worse. Or I would sleep outside and like have people like visibly see me so they could like help me, but I never got the courage to. What do you mean you slept outside? I slept outside in the room. In the in the front yard or in the back yard? Front. Like sleep on the grass? Okay. 197, 195. Um, and then I'd uh, be feeling at peace, like happy. I started to feel happy again. Yeah, 1012 was like, Jimmy. I didn't need to shoulder back down the map where you're like, located. She wanted to give me like one thing all the time or antipsychotic. And I was like, no, I don't like need that because I don't. I don't feel like I see or hear things. They're gonna leave the one band you know, here, and they're gonna um, come back and hurt us all. And uh, then they would get worse, like the uh, misplacing the stuff, you know, somewhere else, or breaking, or even the TV would be. I would put it on something, and they always had it on something negative. And I told my mom all my triggers, um, which was like I thought. For a while, when I got out of the hospital the first time, that the FBI was after me. It, it, it was. It took me a long time to get back to myself. FBI. Yeah. Why do they you? They would be like, "Oh, please, you know." Well, I was like paranoid because of what I did. That was me coping with what I did. So I thought what do you they mean? were after me. What do you mean you were coping with what you did? Sam. Oh, that incident. Okay. So it took me a while. I get back and they would leave me with my niece and I wasn't well. They would have me do things to drive. So I didn't understand why now when I'm fine, they, won't, they didn't want me to go anywhere. Without her, Walmart, nothing. And then when I was just trying to buy a lock for my door, the keys would go over and I had to buy another lock. She didn't want to give me the money. I wanted a laptop, they didn't want even me for that. And I had to like fight for, like um, I would give her money for the phone bill and then my brother would just, well she would pocket the money and my brother just let it, you know, overdue, for over 500. And I didn't have the choice to, then I, my phone was off, I didn't have the phone. And then at the same time, that's when my email started all into, I have more than one email, I think I have like five, all hacked, couldn't get into none. What do you mean, hacked? Like, uh, the password changed, I never changed it. Mm -hmm. And then, the, even the new ones, and I wrote it down, and then I'm like, why is it that every email I have, or I got Google Voice, but since I would text out of like security saying, please stop, um, 
let me go, let me be free, let me live my life, let me save money and move out the right way. And what would they say to that? That I'm a father and I would repeat myself, I would repeat myself, repeat myself, repeat myself. It's you, you're not right, you're not right. Well, if somebody's not listening, unfortunately, you have to keep repeating yourself, right? I mean, it just got worse if I did. Like, even randomly, like, um, turning on the oven and letting mm. that thing explode and blaming it on me when I didn't do it. Wait, what? Yeah, like, a whole, um, like, a whole uh, glass exploded, they let it simmer, and they were like, you left it on, and I know I did it, I know I turned it off. Because my mom made sure, she said, turn it off, and maybe I just ran and I would speak with my niece, and my niece would act funny with me whenever I would call her, she would ignore me. Whenever I would call my mom, she would just be like, giving me like the silent treatment. And my brother didn't talk at all. She only me against my brothers and their girlfriends. And I always wondered like, Outside of the really the messages? Because I know parents just found out that the they had access to all the messages. And then would take random okay, pictures of me and tell me of my weight. Wait, Sion, Tad, Carpenter, Paper. It's also because of the 90 feet. And I need more just a lot over the years. Well, unfortunately, when you take medications for certain stuff, it makes you gain weight. Okay. I mean, there's so many commercials now that you see. What's the first thing they say? Side effect. Or you gain weight. Okay. You want to have kids? Yeah. Like, you know, and then my lady, a therapist on my um, birthday, stopped because my mom was holding me because I had the phone because she was recording out of paranoia. You know, she would threaten to kill me. So I said, before you kill me, I'm going to kill you out of me saying I'm going to fight for my life. But I didn't mean, like, I would actually do that. I just was out of fear, like, why are you threatening to kill me? So she recorded it. She had to record it. And, um me just dancing in the street because I'm just trying to be happy. And you said that was on your birthday? And I was went to Best Buy. I was just like, stayed in there, took a picture of myself. Um, stayed in there for a while. Just, and then she was just asking like she was looking for me, but she already saw me dancing, so that's what she was doing. And more than one occasion, I was going to go to the shelter, actually. And they would just, and then I would call them. And then they would just Act like they don't hear me. Like, hello, hello, hello. Sweet. So then I got an attendant. I said, could you just say, like, you know, I'm her daughter. And I'm here because she picked me up. So I was, just wasn't ready. To, and I didn't have no money. But I didn't have access to the bank. And when I went to the bank, I was like, you know. What was this? Because I remember you mentioned something. You went to the bank and they told you. They told was that like me. recent or that was around your birthday as well? That was around, I don't know if it was, I don't remember because of the medication. Okay. But I know. And he saw me, his name was, I don't know, I forgot his name, but he know, knew me because I was like, I feel kidnapped, help me. And then he just went away because my mom was in the, I told her to step out, but she didn't step out. She stayed around the bank because I found out it was her everything they tried to they didn't take no money and that's what she kept saying they didn't take no money but it was just like I went to the hospital because of that because, and then it was like and then, and then she would give a phone to my brother that was actually in my name and I actually paid for it because I, I gave him more money from wherever I could get it from like Valencia Grand because I went to school at the time, but I stopped because I I got depressed and I couldn't go through with it. Do you remember what made you? Not made you. I don't like that word, but 
how you got like this with the depression like what triggered it off because you've been on it for a while right i could say 10 years okay that's a long time did something happen in your life that you got depressed i don't remember okay. but i think something did i always have that Something did happen. Tonight, Romeo. And I get these feelings, or they're so overwhelming that I get like, you know, something's going on, what's happening? Uh, and then I feel like, oh, my life is a lie. Like, what's going on with it? You know, then I start getting paranoid. Okay. And then I ask for help for people, and they don't listen to me, and I, I call the police. But I always said, that I would lie so they would never get my family in trouble. You know, it's kind of, that makes it our job difficult because, you know, if you, if you want us to help, you know, but then when we get to your house and you're trying to break your family, it's like, you know, I, unless the victim talks to us with, with what's going on. So, for example, like you, let's say you called us and I came and met you. Unless you talk to me the way you're talking to me right now, you know, there's a stupid saying, no victim, no crime. I can do it. So maybe that's why we weren't able to help you is because we didn't have your information. You will not talk. So you see where I'm going? You see how easy it is for you to talk now? Yeah. What happened with the incident with the car? Was that the same day with the mom incident or that was a totally different incident that you crashed the car on purpose? I was doing and I had to help my brother because he was getting and so is, um... How often do you feel that way? A lot. Okay. And then I talk about it with mom. You know, I'm not... You know, and then I just... What do you tell your mom? I tell her what I feel. I feel like you're fed and that you're going to kill me. And that, um... I told her, I told her everything, every thought, every, oh, yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah. And then I didn't know that she would use it against me. Until I found out. What do you mean she would use it against you? To pull me down. And then my brother would do it too. And then it was like in a way where it's like passive aggressive. So it's just joking. So I was like, every time I was like, that, that hurt me. Oh, I was just joking. It's not a big deal. So they knew you had a problem with Rebecca. Me? No, your family, did they know that she didn't like this lady? Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't, I know not, not like nobody. I talked to her normal, but she would just come at me. I don't even know if it was her because my phone, everything was monitored. They were um, She would just come at me and would put downs all the time. So I was like, you know, thinking that she is. But what made you think that she will actually kidnap you or your brother? Because I felt that way. Okay. Is it your old, your brother? Because I know you have two. Are we talking about Nicholas or are we talking about Robert? Nicholas left because he got so much. My dad got really depressed. Like, really, really depressed. And I was always, like, you know, I did, like, ignore him. And, you know, because like, my mom would say, don't talk to him. You know, I didn't know it was a him. And then, you know, when he left, he left with a picture of me, and I was like, why do you leave a picture of me? Like, when I was little? Mm hmm And then he just looked at me, and I was just like, okay. And, I'm, you know, I talked to my dad, he's like, he knows a lot of about. When was the last time you talked to your dad? Last night. Oh, you spoke to your dad last night? I told him that my mom, my mom threatened to kill me. And what do you mean she threatened to kill you? 
like to be like, <clears throat> yeah, you only know, have a few hours left, or you know, say like I'll kill him, you know, and give me medication that I told her um, I'm not gonna take that. She would get so mad, like you better take it in front of me. Do you think maybe she was saying you got a few hours left because of medication? Yeah, a few hours left of the day to live. And then I said, why are you saying that? You're making me feel like you're going to kill me. And then I would come up to her and she would just say, mm -hmm. so it was like, made it more scary because she didn't make me feel like she didn't mean it. Did you tell your dad last night? How did you talk to your dad? Over the phone or he came by? On the phone speaker all the time. Really? I speaker. I can't speak any other thing alone. So you use your mom's phone? Okay. How did how do you feel whenever you talk to your dad? I can tell him that my brother too. But they tell me and they don't want me. Okay. So every time you say your brother, i don't know who you're talking about. You talking my about Nicholas? Brother, he just blamed me. No. And my mom says it's because his girlfriend, his girl is patrolling him, learning everything. Nicholas. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean by first episode? Like the first time I ended up in the hospital. Okay. And it was always because I was like, I want to go. Or I'm gonna go get buy a car. Like when I wanted my independence, I noticed the pattern. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be independent. We all want our independence. I even begged for pride. It just made it worse. What do you mean? It just made it worse. They would do things like I would bake with my niece, and then the they would turn it on high, and I was like, it's already done. And then turn it back a little, and then they would take the cupcakes out and leave only a little bit. I was like, why are you doing this? And then take myself, and then that's where I have to carry myself all around. <clears throat> My important stuff that I don't want to lose. To the point where I was like, I want to stay at a shelter, and then I, I always say that, or I'm going to leave. And then this guy came up to me. His name was AJ, and he was like, you know, you don't have to go back in, you know. Who's AJ? He was just, he was just a random person, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Okay. On your like, street or in the neighborhood? On my street. And I said, yeah, but I'm not ready yet. I always say that. I'm not ready yet. Well, you, you didn't want to leave your family? I was protecting them. I don't want to be the blame because I'm always the blame. How would they blame me if you left? I mean, you're a grown woman. They wouldn't let me go. Every time I would leave, my mom would be there, like, you know, in the car. So, what happened with AJ? I just said, um, you no, know, it's okay. I'm not ready yet. He said, you want to go for a more walk? I said, no. Like, you don't have to go inside, you know, and I said, no, I have to go inside, I don't have no idea. So you mentioned something that you slept in the front lawn, yeah? Did you sleep there all night? Just, my mom didn't like it at first until I told her there's nothing wrong with me, just like, mm -hmm. you know, I needed something, or, you know, something. but it was like short period of Maybe half an hour. The neighbor saw me and would say hello. And then when I was singing dance, like on my birthday, they wouldn't look at me like it was crazy, like my mom did. Or like, you know, like she was going to do something to me. Um, uh, and um, they were just like, mm. singing dance with me. Or, hey. mm. and on my birthday, and then, um, that incident with the car, the therapist came up to us and told my mom, like, consider my feeling. Because they said, I don't want my mom to go to jail and I don't, I'm, I don't want to go to a park place or mental institution or nothing. 
Cause my mom thought of me in the jail. She was like trying to find the right way to like put me there. And I said, well then just bring me. I felt that way because they just kept doing things. Mm -hmm. And I even would go crazy if they moved somewhere else and then, or you lose it all. The, the, like the mail key, I had to take one because now they're, they're missing. Um, and I would have to say like, don't take my mail. Uh, but uh, the therapist, she was a therapist, she said. And my mom just kept on with medication, medication. And then she said, she don't need medication right now. She's calm. So why are you giving her the medication? Stop your tricks. And then my mom got offended and said, I'm a registered nurse. And she was like, well, Natalie, you're not going to be ready for Natalie when she's not on the medication. 